Hello, how are you? Hello, this is Amit Babuna from Turkey on behalf of Mr. Harun Yahya. How are you? Yes, and I, I'm, I'm sorry. We had a difficulty with our phone line, so we immediately cleared the line so you could call in. So I apologize if you tried earlier and couldn't and got a busy signal. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Mr. Adnan Oktar is here. Okay, now one of the things I need you to do is just talk a little slower for me, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm, I don't understand uh, uh, some dialects, and so just talk a little, kind of slow for me, all right? Absolutely, yes. All right, and your name is? Ahmed Babuna. Ahmed. Ahmed, yes. Ahmed, okay. Uh, Ahmed? Ahmed, yes. All right, good. I, I, like I said, I don't want to disrespect you and not, uh, uh, and not say the name. And you're with um, Adnan? Oktar. Oktar. Oktar. Oktar, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. We just don't want to disrespect you at all by saying the wrong name, but we apologize. No problem. All right, and and you're going to translate for him, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Let Let's start out by you telling us what he is passionate about. Tell me, tell me his position. Tell me where he's coming from on these end of times um, uh, theory that he has. Bu ayrı zamanla ilgili fikirlerinize nereden vardınız? Hadislerden ve Kur'an'dan, Peygamber Efendimiz'in açıklamalarından, e, sayı hadis kitaplarından ve e, Sünni ve Şii bilim adamlarının hazırladığı eserlerden. Well, I came to uh, this idea of end times from the books of Hadith, uh, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem's Hadith, and from Quran, and uh, also Muslims' explanations, and Sahih Hadith books, uh, real Hadith books, and also uh, from Sunni and Shia uh, uh, sources. Okay. All right. And and and does Adnan feel that we are approaching the end of time? Siz eee ayı zamana geldiğimize mi inanıyorsunuz? Tabii. Eee e, Hristiyan inancına göre de, Müslümanlığa göre de, Musevi inancına göre de bu böyledir. Dünyanın e, 7000 yıllık bir takvim içerisinde tarihinden bahsediyor peygamberimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. Bunu 5600 yılı geçmiştir diyor. Geriye 1400 kalıyor. Biz şu an Hicri 1430'dayız. Yani azami Hicri 1500'e kadar e, ümmetin icabet ömrünün devam edeceği anlaşılıyor. 1545 gibi de yani 2120 gibi de inşallah kıyameti bekliyoruz. Yes, this is uh, indicated, uh, stated also in the Christian and Muslim and uh, J J Jewish sources also this way. So it is stated uh, by our Prophet Muhammed that the, uh, the life of this world is 7000 years. And this is uh, according to the calendar of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And also our Prophet states that 5,600 years are over, which means uh, only 1,400 years are left. So uh, we are now in Hijra style, in the, our, according to the calendar of Hijra style, in 1430, 1,430, which means also stated in the hadiths by our Prophet that the maximum life of the uh, Muslims will be until 1,506. And also it is uh, known also in five, uh, 1545, 1545, that will be the time for the doomsday. <coughs> it's the, it, the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, as I understand this, and, and I'm not asking you to repeat this unless I'm saying this wrong, but just to make sure, is, in, in, he has prophesied that the world will last 7,000 years. We're 5,600 years into this process of the world, meaning we only have 1,400 years remaining so that is that is the end of time 1400 real calendar years american calendar years is that right sir uh, bu 1400 yılı 7000 sonra tekrarladı 5600'ü geçmiş 1400 kaldı dedi bu amerikan takvimine göre mi dedi e, hayır hayır e, normal hicri takvim yani e, 1980 yılı esas alsınlar 1980'den e, 2010 yılına kadar e, bir süresi var dünyanın. 1980'de başlamıştır ahir zaman. E, Mehdi 1980'de çıkmıştır. E, 2120 yılında da e, kıyamet kopacak inşallah. Well, uh, no, uh, the 1400 is the Hijra style. According to your calendar, American calendar, it is uh, 1980. This is the time for the appearance of Mehdi. Mehdi appears it in, uh, appeared in 1980 and the, uh, the doomsday will be in 2120 that's the uh, the uh, life of this world 
It's the one, 2120 is the doomsday. <clears throat> 2012 then. Okay, very good. All right. I, I just wanted to confirm that's what you meant. So 2012, which uh, I'm looking at, at our chat room, which I know that you all have seen, uh, that's, that's, that's somewhat based upon the Mayan calendar. Uh, I mean, we, we hear reports about the Mayan calendar said 2012. The Chinese have said 2012. Not 2012? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Help me understand. No. Yeah, let me repeat it. 2120. 2120 uh, is the doomsday. Thank the doomsday. you. Thank you. Thank you. My apologies. 2120. Okay. 2120, that's the end of time. Okay. Thanks, Rabbi. I've got it. Thanks, guys. Okay. Where, how does Jesus fit into this? I, I, I was raised a Christian, okay, in America as a Christian. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior of my soul. He came, died, resurrected, and he's going to come back again. Please help me understand how he relates to your particular belief system. Siz e, Hz. İsa'yı nereye yerleştiriyorsunuz? Ben bir Hristiyanım. Hz. İsa'nın geleceğini, kurtarıcı olacağını ve e, dirilip tekrar geleceğine inanıyorum. Siz bu konu hakkında ne düşünüyorsunuz? Hz. Mesih'in gelişine en fazla 15-20 yıl var. E, geldiğinde e, önce kendisi de kendisinin İsa olduğunu bilmeyecek. Yakın talebeleri e, onu tanıyacaklar. Bir e, Müslümanlığı andıran bir Hristiyan cemaat içerisine gelecek. Bütün dünyayı gezecek. Bütün insanlar onu görecekler. Uzun saçlıdır, ee, sarışın yani altın rengiyle kahverengi karışımı saçları vardır. Üzerinde iki sarı renkten oluşan e, kıyafet vardır. O devrin kıyafetinin kendi orijinal kıyafetiyle girecektir. Ayakkabısı yine orijinal kendi ayakkabısıdır. O devirdeki ayakkabısıdır, giydiği ayakkabısıdır. E, kendi beylik eşyalarıyla aynı haliyle e, dünyaya yeniden getirilecek. Küçük burunludur, e, gri gözlüdür Hazreti Mesih, geniş omuzlu ve ince bellidir, çok güzel yüzlüdür, çok keskin bakışlıdır ve olağanüstü akıllı bir insan olarak gelecektir ve bütün dünya onun zamanında e, Müslüman olacak inşallah, bütün dünyayı Müslüman yapacak. E, for the return of Jesus, peace be upon him, is 10 to 20 years are left. So in 10, 10, 10 to 20 years he will return back. So when he, he will come back, uh, he will uh, have a, uh, his students, own students, and he will not know himself at the beginning. He will not know he, the, himself that as a Jesus, peace be upon him. So he will come to a community which is similar to Muslims, to a Christian com community but is, which is similar to Muslims. So he will go around all the world. And, uh, he, and he's, uh, uh, now there are some descriptions uh, stated in the hadith, I'll give you some descriptions of, of him. His eyes are a flame of fire, and he's a man of medium to soul st uh, stat stature, uh, Jesus peace be upon him. He has broad shoulders and thin waist. The countenance of his face is both serious and active. His nose and mouth are altogether blameless. He will have long hair, which is between gold and chestnut. He has freckles on his face, he is athletic stat stat stature. His forehead is smooth and, uh, smooth and clean. His beard is thick, being of the same color of his hair. His hands and arms are graceful. His hair is both chestnut and golden in coloring. His feet and, and uh, hands are clean and uh, bright, and he is incredibly smart and intelligent. He is active and strong. He has fine long fingers and his perfectly shaped hands. His hair is smooth up to his ears. These are uh, his uh, physical uh, features. All right, now... Did I understand you correctly that you said Jesus won't know he's Jesus when he comes? Does that mean he'll be born as a baby and then God will reveal to him as an adult who he is? Doğru mu anladım? Geldiğinde kendisini bilmeyecek demiştiniz. E, bu kendisinin e, bebek olarak doğrulup önce Allah tarafından sonra Allah yetiştiğinde mi e, ilham edecek, e, vahiy edecek ona? Hayır, hayır. 33 yaşındaki aynı haline gelecek yani 2000 e, küsür sene önce zamanın ve mekanın dışarısına çıkarılmıştır. Hz. İsa göğe alınmıştır. Yeniden zamanın ve mekanın içerisine girecektir. Aynı, aynısıdır Hz. İsa'nın. Yani e, bizzat kendisidir. No, no, no. He, he is exactly the same. He will come, come back exactly the same at 33 years of age that he was taken to, the, uh, to heaven 2000 years before he was taken. So um, uh, he will taken out of the uh, uh, dimensions of time and space. So he will re-enter time and dimensions, time and uh, space, and uh, when he will enter uh, time, and, uh, time and space, inshallah. 
okay, so Jesus will come back to earth uh, basically just as he left this earth when he was crucified. And will he know that he's the Christ? O zaman e, alındığı şekilde yani hacca e, çarmıha gerildiği şekliyle mi alınacak ve kendisini bilmeyecek? E, göğe alınmıştır. Bizim inancımızda e, Müslüman inancında onu ihbar eden kişi çarmıha gerilmiştir. Bir ceza olarak Hz. İsa doğrudan göğe alınmıştır. Hz. İsa hiçbir şey yapamadılar. E, ve e, şu an Cenab-ı Allah'ın katındadır. E, bu e, zamanın ve mekan dışına çıkma şeklinde olmuştur şu an yeniden zamanın ve mekanın içine girecek. Geldiği vakit tek damla kan akıtmayacak. Bütün insanları sevgiye, barışa ve kardeşliğe davet edecek. Bir tek bir insanın bile burdu kanamayacak. Dünyadan bütün silahları kaldıracak. Dünyada tam bir barış, kardeşlik, sevgi hakim olacak. Buna altın çağı diyoruz. Mehdi'nin yardımcısı olarak Cenab-ı Allah gönderecek. Mehdi'ye yardım edecek. Hz. Mehdi ile Zaten aynı soydandandır ikisi de. Hz. İbrahim soyundandır her ikisi de. Birbirlerine benzerler. İkisi birlikte dünyayı barışa, kardeşliğe, mutluluğa doğru yönlendirecekler ve bunu başaracaklar Allah'ın izniyle. Fakat daha önce sahte mehdiler, sahte mesihler çıkacaktır. Bu da onların çıkış alametidir. Önce barışa davet edecekler. Mesela masonluk insanlığı barışa, kardeşlere davet etmiştir ama zulüm getirmiştir. Mesela komünizm insanlığı önce barışa davet etmiştir sonra zulüm ve işkence acı getirmiştir. Fakat Mehdi ve İsa geldiklerinde sadece barış ve kardeşlik ve sevgiyi savunacaklar. Başında neyse sonunda da aynı şekilde olacaktır. Yani e, hiçbir şekilde sevgi anlayışlarında barış ve kardeşlik anlayışlarında bir değişiklik olmayacaktır. Sonuna kadar hayatlarının son safhasına kadar sevgiyi, barışı savunacaklardır. Well, he, he, will, he, was, uh, he was taken to the heaven. So that, that is, according to our belief, he was not crucified. He was taken to the heaven at the level of uh, Allah as a person. And uh, the person who gave away him was uh, taken to, was crucified and, uh, because he, uh, uh, Allah made him similar to him. And they couldn't do anything to Jesus, peace be upon him. They couldn't do anything. He was taken to the uh, heaven and to the level of Allah. And when he, Jesus returns back, Jesus peace be upon him, there will be no bloodshed, not even a drop of blood will be spilled. So he will bring brotherhood, tolerance, love, justice to the whole world. So there will be no weapons, all weapons will be destroyed and eradicated from the world. There will be no wars, there will be only love and there will be, we call it a golden age in the world. So he will, Jesus peace be upon him, he will be the helper of the Mahdi, uh, Mahdi Hazrat Mahdi of Islam. And uh, they both uh, together will bring uh, bring brotherhood, love, tolerance, and justice to the world. They are both Mehdi and uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, are both descendants of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. They are, they look similar actually, and they will bring brotherhood and peace to the world. That of course there will be some false messiahs and false Mehdi's will appear before they are coming uh, coming back. Their appearance. This this is one of the signs. They are signs. Uh, uh, for example. Freemasonry invited the manhood, humanity to peace. However, they brought oppression and tyranny to the world. Communism, similar in a similar way, uh, communism invited the humanity to peace. However, communism brought tyranny and oppression to the world and bloodshed. Mehdi and his, uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, will defend brotherhood, love, peace, security, tolerance, justice, and compassion in the whole world until the end. Until the end, from the very beginning until the end. Uh, let, let me let me uh, excuse me. Let me let me ask a couple of questions. Thank you very much. That uh, we had that at Woodstock in the '60s. Um, you know, peace and love, the whole nine yards. That's cool, uh, and, and that's great. That that sounds wonderful. Love to have that. Uh, what you're saying, Jesus is going to come back. That's going to help, and, and we're going to be enlightened and be better people. And and you also mentioned that uh, myself as a Freemason, I I'm a part of the problem here. But I do have a question. What, what's, what's, you, what, what's your position about your, can I, I hope I say this right, uh, your Muslim brothers that believe in violence right now? What's, what, what's your position on that? E, bu e, söylediğiniz şeyler 1960'lardan kalma güzel kardeşlik, barış hepsi. Ben de e, masonum. Bu da bir problemin bir parçası. E, özellikle şu soruyu sormak istiyorum. Müslümanların, e, Müslüman kardeşlerinizin şiddete başvurması hakkında ne düşünüyorsunuz? 
e, şiddet Müslümanlıkta haram olan bir husustur. Müslümanlıkta ikna vardır, tebliğ vardır e, ve insanların severek dini kabulü vardır. E, zorla dini kabul ettirilmez. Bu haramdır ve e, bunu yapanlar Kur'an'a aykırı hareket etmiş oluyorlar. E, sizin mason olmanızda bir problem değil. E, masonları ben çok seviyorum. Kaliteli insanlar. Ben sadece onların inançlarına karşıyım. Yani darwinist ve materyalist olmalarına karşıyım. E, o da olan için diyorum. Yani dindar bir masonla benim bir anlaşamadığım bir konu yok. E, ben sadece Allah'a inanmayan materyalist, darwinist masonu kastediyorum. Evet. Violence in Islam is definitely forbidden. It's called haram, actually. And uh, there is uh, in Islam, you convince and you spread the truth. Uh, but there is no, however, there is no compulsion in religion. You cannot force people uh, for any kind of belief. So uh, there is, n uh, I don't see any problem that you are a Mason. It is perfectly fine because Masons are highly qualified people. I am only against the ideology of uh, Freemasonry. Uh, I am only against if Masons are uh, they are Darwinists and they are atheists. That that is why I'm uh, I against it. Not a, not personally. Okay, Matt. <coughs> <Boy. laughs> I, I, I, I I just my, my question is this. Okay, let me let me let me. Uh, Rabbi Kaufman asked a question early on, and I and I'm not sure that it was answered. If it was. Just that's fine. Uh, who are considered to be sincere Jews? Kimler samimi Yahudi olarak nitelendirilir? Kimlerdir samimi Yahudiler? E, samimi Yahudi, Allah'ın birliğine inanan, helallere haramlara titiz olan, Allah'ın meleklerine inanan, ahiret hayatına inanan e, Museviler ve bütün peygamberleri seven Museviler benim inancıma göre samimi Musevilerdir. Uh, according to my belief, sincere Jews are who loves God, believes in angels, believes in Allah, believes in angels, believes in hereafter, and loves all the prophets. According, and according to my belief, these are sincere Jews. Okay, okay, <clears throat> all right. Um, it, it, it, it, I find it very interesting. I'm going to make a statement when I'm really supposed to be asking questions here, but perhaps I could get a response to this statement. There's there's there's great great similarities between there's a tremendous amount of overlapping between Judaism uh, between basic Christian what I call basic Christianity that I've grown up and, and been familiar with in the United States and then also the, the Muslim beliefs. Let me ask: Is that true? Okay, am I hearing you right? And the second thing is: Is when Jesus returns to this world? Where is and, and I? This is the only way I know how to ask it. What, where's the base of his operations? Where is he going to establish himself as the ruler, as the savior of the world? Two things are there. This, my education, I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. E, bu konu doğru mu? Birincisi bu. İkincisi Hz. İsa geldiğinde nerede yerleşecek? E, aktivitelerin nerede yapacak? E, dünya çapında kurtarıcı nerede olacak? Hristiyanlıkta tabi ki Müslümanlık arasında benzerlik var. E, Hristiyanlar e, tabi eğer tam samimi bakılırsa, samimi e, düşünenleri göz önünde bulundurursak tabi ki tek bir Allah'a inanıyorlar. E, fakat üçleme inancında bir e, yanlışlık var. Şöyle ki Hadeti İsa Allah'ın tecellisidir şeklinde söyleseler ya yani bütün insanlar Allah'ın tecellisidir derseler bu doğru olurdu ama Hadeti İsa'nın Allah'tır denmesi bu Kur'an'a uygun değil. Ee, ve yani testis inancı uygun değil. Ama bunun dışında meleklere inanmanız, ahirete inanmanız, helallere, haramlara inanmanız, e, güzelliği, doğruyu, sevgiyi, barışı, kardeşliği savunmanız Kur'an'la tam mutabıktır. Yes, there are of course uh, some similarities uh, between Christianity and Islam. Uh, the Christians uh, look sincere only if uh, they uh, uh, accept that they love. Of course, if they since they love God they, sincerely, that is good. 
However, in the Trinity there is a problem because uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, is a reflection of God. If uh, Christians say, would say that uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, is a reflection of God, that would be correct. That would, that would be compatible with the Quran. However, if they say Jesus is God, that is not compatible with the Quran. So uh, Trinity is wrong according to the Quran. But however, uh, uh, if the since Christians also believe uh, since the same uh, things that are lawful but is unlawful that is compatible with Islam okay uh, all right I, I, I, I do have to, something to say this has been very very difficult for me to, to follow yet I believe that I followed it fairly clearly um, if we could I, I'd like for the, uh, for for him to cap this thing off so to speak okay i mean this call is coming all the way from istanbul turkey it's a very expensive phone call i'd like for him to cap off what and you started with the question let's end with the question okay the passion what is that what is the message that you want us all in that are listening in max world live des moines local live to get out of this last 30 minute conversation that's that's really is that a fair question mac yes okay I want to. I want to. I want to know the passion. What's the message that you want us now at the end of this conversation that you want us to take away from this? I think that's a, a fair question. Bu 30 dakikalık konuşmanın sonunda vereceğiniz yani ana mesaj, temel mesaj ne olacaktır? Ee, dünyaya inananların hakim olması, Hristiyanların, Müslümanların e, ve e, yani inanan derken sadece ben üç dini esas alıyorum: Müslümanlar, Hristiyanlar ve Museviler bu e, inananların barış içinde kardeşçe kendi inançlarını samimi ve rahat olarak yaşamaları Hz. Mesih'in gelişine kadar e, birbirlerine e, güvenerek, birbirlerini severek e, mutlu yaşamaları Mesih geldiğinde de zaten Allah'ın dilemesiyle Allah zaten dünyada tek bir din meydana getirecek ve zorlama olmayacak insanlara baskı olmayacak tehdit olmayacak severek insanlar hepsi Müslüman olacaklar bizim tabi inancımız bu bu şekildedir Hz. Mesih'in geliş yeri de demin sorduğunuz Kudüs'tür İstanbul'a da gelecektir inşallah Hz. Mesih'in gelinmesi an meselesi yani çok çok az kaldık Mesih'in gelişine well uh, the, uh, my message would be that the believer all the believers live but uh, however I uh, bit, by believers I state that the three divine religions Christianity Muslims and Jews to live in brotherhood peace and security and love uh, in, the, in the whole world until Jesus returns back it is very uh, little left until Jesus returns back however when Jesus returns back according to belief that with Allah's permission that whole world will be Islam but there will be no compulsion no without any force uh, people will be Muslims all around the world uh, Islam will prevail with the return of Jesus so it is very little time left for Jesus return and Jesus will come uh, appear in the Jerusalem uh, and Jesus will appear in the Jerusalem but however he will come to Istanbul also alrighty all right, Rabbi Kaufman says, from the Jewish perspective, Jesus' divinity is not a part of Judaism, but is a Christian uh, invocation. Innovation. Innovation. Um, yes, similar to Muslims, we ascribe zero divinity to Jesus. Okay. All right, if, if, you, if, if you subscribe zero divinity to Jesus, then, then why, why do you consider him a prophet? Ee, bu Yahudilik, Musevilik inancına göre Hz. İsa'ya ilahilik e, vakfetmiyorlarmış onlar. Bu Hz. İsa'ya vakfetmeden diyor nasıl ilahi olarak görülebilir? Hz. İsa zaten peygamberdir. Yani büyük peygamberlerden birisidir. Ee, Müslümanların da peygamberidir. Ee, Kur'an'da Hz. İsa çok övülmektedir. Hz. Meryem de çok övülmektedir. Ee, gösterdiği mucizeler anlatılmaktadır. Ee, ama tabi e, Allah değildir Hz. İsa Aleyhisselam. Allah'ın bir kuludur. Çünkü Allah'a dua ediyor. İncil'de dua ettiği belirtiliyor. Ayrıca e, yemek yiyor, geziyor. Yani normal bir peygamberdir. E, bir de e, demin de e, Hristiyanlıkla Yahudilik arasındaki benzerlik özellikle. Tamam onu da söylerim. Evet. E, Jesus is one of the prophets, one of the great prophets of uh, Allah. So uh, he, he, he, is, uh, he has miracles 
He is a servant of Allah. He prays and he eats like every other person. But you, you say that Jesus has no divinity. If he's a prophet, doesn't that make him divine? Doesn't that make him of God? Buna ilahlık vakfetmiyorsunuz diyor. Onun e, peygamber olması ilahlık vakfetme anlamına gelmez mi? Tabi tabi Hz. İbrahim gibi, Hz. Nuh gibi bir peygamberdir. He is a prophet just like Abraham and Noah, peace be upon him. <laughs> okay, that, that flies in the face of basic Christianity, obviously. Uh, Judaism would probably probably say that he's a prophet. That, well, that's what they do say, I think. Don't they, Rabbi, that, that Jesus was a prophet? I'm sure he'll answer me in a minute. You, Ju that you're saying that Judaism yeah, yeah, yeah. believes that Jesus is was, a prophet. Was just a prophet like an Abraham, like like anybody else. Yeah. So, so yeah. that would be similar, in a way, to what yes. the, yes. the Muslims feel. Yes, that, they, exactly. That's exactly correct. Uh, prophet Muhammad, Prophet Jesus, all preach the same message. Uh, Beat Camp says Jesus doesn't. Uh, Bulldogs, the Trinity, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, we're not on that, okay? Uh, I understand what you're saying. I recognize Jesus, really. That's what B. Canvas says. But Rabbi, I'm asking the question. They do. Judaism does recognize Jesus. Jesus was likely a reformer who believed that the temple cult was corrupt. Okay, so you do believe that Jesus actually existed. Okay, uh, Mac. Yahudiler de e, Hz. İsa'nın peygamber olarak kabul ediyorlar, inanıyorlar ona o şekilde. Efendim? Yahudiler de inanıyorlarmış Hz. İsa'ya peygamber olarak kabul ediyorlar. Tabii peygamber olarak. İşte e, sorun burada oluyor. Yani e, Hristiyanlıkla e, aslında Musevilik çok benzerler birbirine. Müslümanlık da birbirine çok benzer. E, fakat tek Allah'a inanma konusunda e, Musevilikle İslamiyet tam mutabakat halindedir. E, Allah'a şirk koşulmaması konusunda tek tam mutabakat halindedir. Ee, Hristiyanlıkla Musevilik arasındaki sorun budur. Yani testis inancıdır. Onun dışında e, çok benzer e, Musevilikle Hristiyanlık. Yes, uh, Christianity and uh, Jewish religion are very similar. Uh, uh, the Jewish, I'm sorry, Jewish religion and uh, Islam are very similar in believing in one God. The only problem comes from the Trinity. However, of course, there is similarity between Christianity, Jew, uh, uh, Judaism, and Islam. The only problem comes from the, uh, the the Trinity, and not to associate any partners with God. Otherwise, of course, the, uh, the um, and Jewish Judaism and Islam is very compatible in believing in one God. Okay. Okay, we appreciate you taking the time to call in today, especially from so far away. Is there anything else before we let you go you want to add to the conversation? Otherwise, we thank you for your time today. Yes, there is uh, one website, uh, jesuswillreturn.com. www.jesuswillreturn.com. You can uh, enter this website and get more detailed information also from www.harunyahya.com. You can download all his books and uh, uh, documentaries. Teşekkür ederim. Uh, başka ekleyeceğiniz bir şey var mı? Benim diyeceğim, e, İslamiyetle e, Musevilik tek ilah, tek Allah'a inanç konusunda ittifak halindedir. Hristiyanlıkla tek ayrılan yön e, bu teslis inancıdır. İnşallah Hristiyanlık teslis inancından vazgeçecek. Tek Allah'a inanacaklar ve e, inşallah Hz. İsa geldi vakitte bütün dünya Müslüman olacak ve kardeşçe barış içinde yaşayacağız. Yes, uh, Islam and Judaism is exactly compatible in believing in only one God, one Allah. And uh, I also hope that Christianity will uh, do away with this uh, Trinity and start on only one God. And after, uh, when Isa, uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, returns back, uh, Islam will prevail in the whole world. Bir de e, Museviler son gelişmelerle ilgili sakın tedirgin olmasınlar, gönülleri çok rahat olsun. E, Türkiye e, Museviler çok seviliyor. Hepimiz onları çok seviyoruz. Ee, İsrail'e de karşı da e, Türkiye'nin bir muhalif tavrı yok. E, o konularda da inşallah internet sisteme girerlerse e, bu konuları daha detaylı görebilirler. E, gönülleri çok rahat olsun. E, herhangi bir problem yok. And also uh, my message to uh, the, to our, my Jewish brothers that to be calm, there is no problem between Israel and Turkey, and we love Jew uh, we love the J our Jewish brothers and sisters. There is no problem between Israel and Turkey. It is uh, so. If they go into my website, you will have more detailed information about that. Uh, 
Evet. Harun Yahya nokta kom. Evet. All right, we got it. All right, and that's H A Rooster. Type this in. It's www dot h a r u n y a h y a dot com. Right. The other one is w. Yeah, the, the other one is www Jesus will return dot com, and and that will be, gentlemen, that will be on our website uh, in perpetuity. This this interview will be on our website in perpetuity, and obviously on your website, we would love for you to download it and and have it on your website at the same time. It would be very helpful. That way, uh, we have no problem. That's that's what we we believe here is is freedom of speech and the freedom to to give your opinion and your position, and that's what we do here in Max World Live on Des Moines Local Live. E, bu konuşmaları hem onlar sizlere yükleyeceklermiş hem de sizin sitenizde olacağına inanıyorum diyor. Biz burada diyor konuşma özgürlüğüne, e, fikir özgürlüğüne inanıyoruz diyor. Çok güzel, çok teşekkür ederim. Hepinizi çok seviyorum. Herkese selamlar. Thank you very very much. I love all of you and I send my hello to all of you. Just my salam to all of you. All right, we look forward to having you uh, back in Max World again sometime. Okay, sir? Sizi tekrar geri davet etmek için bekliyoruz, yumurta bekliyoruz diyor. E, Tabi, çok memnun oldum. Teşekkür ederim. I will be very happy. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much.